Hi guys, welcome to Tech Geek. So today we are back with the daily lead code challenge problem. That's number of matching subsequences. So this question is a lead code medium question. Lead code medium 792. Uh, before beginning this question, I'd like to request you to please, please, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, mostly, if you can see, I'm sharing both of the things like interview experiences, upcoming jobs, and even these questions like lead code questions, basically. So whatever you feel is beneficial for you, then do tell me. I'll be working more on it. Or any specific company you'd like to know, I'll be working on it too. And if there's anything that's uh, left out or anything that's not clear in any of the solutions, any of the interview experiences, please feel free to comment and let me know. There was one person who asked me uh, for some guidance towards uh, resume and asked me to share some contacts. So I did mention in the comment too. So it would be good if you guys do contact me directly and I won't be charging anything for these things because it's just a kind of help that you need to go with. Okay. So let's begin. Now, let's see what the question says. The question says we'll be given a string S and an array of strings words. We have to return the number of words that elements in the array words such that it is subsequence of string s. Now talking about a subsequence, what is a subsequence? A subsequence of a string is a new string that could be generated from the original with some characters okay, and can be none deleted. Now from a string if you delete some characters forming that particular string is a subsequence remembering with one point that the relative order of the remaining element should remain the same. Like they have given an example, A, B, C, D, E is your string and A, C, E the word. So if you remove B and D, so we get A, C, E. This A, C, E is actually your subsequence. Now, the same thing that you have to do is, now instead of checking a single word, you have been given number of words. That's an array of words and you have to check from that particular array of words. Is it possible uh, that each of them is a, a subsequence and the number of elements that are subsequent. Let's take for first A. If we remove the last four, it will form A. Then yeah, this is. Then B, B. Obviously, there's one B, so we cannot form this. Talking about A, C, D. So if we remove B and D, we'll, oh, sorry, B and E, we'll call it A, C, D and A, C. So obviously, for this, apart from B, B, we get all three. So the answer is K. The same way for the below one, we'll have to do, we'll have to check A, H, yeah. One more thing you have to check is that the relative order should remain same. It should not be the case let, uh, that like A H J P J A U, A H J P J A U. This is whole present. J A present. A H D W. Now W is not this. We cannot say that again. T N. It's not there. What if this was J P G? Let's say P and J were interchanged. Then it won't be because the letters were jumped. So. As you must have seen about the subsequence, so we will be seeing uh, this time of explaining this approach with this only direct the solution because uh, there's not much to be understood in the solution, it's quite easy one. So, what I did uh, first is the answer that's a count. We take this, we'll take two sets one is a valid word, one is an invalid word. Okay, we'll iterate towards this words array, we'll check if the valid word already contains the string. Then obviously count plus plus y. There is a large number of input. That means there are array of words. So obviously it could be possible that somewhere they are repeated. If an invalid it contains the string. That means we already know it's not a valid word. Then obviously we won't do anything. Okay. Third is if it's not present in any of these. That means it's kind of a new word that's entered. So what we'll do first we'll check whether that particular word is a subsequence of the string. If it is, then add uh, increase the counter, add it to the valid words, and if not, then directly add it to invalid words. Okay. Now, how we'll be checking the subsequence is just an uh, the same process as we used to do. We'll first find the height of both, check for the height. Sorry, not height, length. For length, we'll check, and we'll run this loop. We'll run this loop for the string. Okay, for the string and this count. Count is actually how many elements are 
matching and we'll update that count and the elements matching should always be less than the length until it by uh, moves up so we'll check if the character at i is equal to character at count if it matches increase the count so that means move to the second element and then again match with element in i and if the count that means all the elements matching and the length of the word is equal that means it is the subsequence so return true and obviously depending on this we'll be generated okay so this is how this will go on this process will go on it is quite easy solution i don't think this one would require it's not even a medium level question it requires to be kind of an easy one if you know what a subsequence is so it's better to go up with this solution if there's something else you want to modify with this that's better brainstorm your ideas get some new ideas that's what how your coding solution would go on uh, if in case there's any query do let me know i'll be there to help you out thank you